Uh, she draws inspiration from her late Lolo, who passed away in 2014. And funnily enough, her, his last request, or one of his last requests, was for her to pursue volleyball, oh. to pursue being an athlete. Really? And Interesting. interestingly enough, uh, his request was for her to pursue volleyball in the University of the East, which where she is now. Grab it. And, uh, you know, it, it feels great hearing stories like that, Jeffrey, because it's a family connection. It's, it's hard to, it's hard not to, not to draw inspiration from. Pero, when you look on the court, did she have any other inspirations uh, that she looked up to growing up as a volleyball player? Yes, uh, in the volleyball side, it's uh, Eliza Valdez, who else? So, oh, yeah. yeah, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who, who is Eliza? Okay. Um, uh, actually, she, she, Eliza is the very reason why she wears number two. Mm, uh, Ja's yeah. sister mm. actually told her wear number two because of Eliza. She, Ja loves her humble attitude, Eliza's humble attitude, and you know, Eliza knows, uh, Eliza, despite being as great as she is, yeah. and as popular as, as she is, as popular as she is, it doesn't get into her head. Right? Yes. Right. And that's yes. exactly what Ja wants to input into her own game. She, right. She's never satisfied with her game. She she's always hungry to to learn more and to keep growing. And that's that's why she's Yeah, the, great. the humility is there. And you know, I think boom, we have to move on now to Adamson. Ozzy. Adamson, uh, they have one of the top leagues middle middle blocker and uh, tell us a bit more about her and of course uh Shempre, you know what should we know about her start Dito to San Marcelino? Yeah. Well, before she was the Great Wall of San Marcelino, as I like to call her, yeah. mm -hmm. she was being recruited by Ateneo, UP, and UE. But yeah. because of the Bisaya environment Adamson had, it was such an easy choice. Entrance mm. session for her since she's from Cebu. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's a uh, Lorin uh, Torin. Yeah. Oh, that's a regional decision. As we, we hear a lot with basketball, volleyball players, sometimes they choose the schools depending on who they're playing with. Because you know, there is that yeah. dialect connection, you know, the regional connection. All right, when it comes to Lorene uh, Ozzy, she's, she's got uh, a few relatives in the volleyball world in the UAP. Tell us about that volleyball blood mm -hmm. pumping through her veins. <laughs> she's currently uh, teammates with her cousin, Correct. Si Kyle oh, Tagsir, okay. right? and NU Sheena Turing. Yeah. So they're not just tall, but they're all also <laughs> middle blockers. So that's... All their common denominator. And very good. Very block. good. Oh, oh <laughs> and uh, yeah, it runs in the blood. You yeah, know? It, yeah, yeah. It, 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 this is one example wherein the blood actually has a lot of great athletic uh, ability in it. Uh, moving back to UE, Gab, see, Daranieva, you found out a, a bit of an interesting background on her, yes. especially with her a bit unconventional start to the sport. Journey, yeah. Uh, well, in sports, a, a lot of the athletes have the privilege to have proper training from yeah. when they're kids all the way to their college careers and all the way to their professional careers. But for Dara, uh, she, she just learned in the streets. You know, mm -hmm. she would, I, I imagine her just grabbing a volleyball and just playing, you know, playing with her friends. Mm -hmm. And she never really got professional training, long story short. And mm -hmm. she would actually be tapped to play sa mga liga ng barangay niya. Yeah. So that's, that's where she started playing and then, thankfully, she's in UE now with a great UE program for volleyball. Right, a, a lot of us actually start in the streets, whether it's basketball, volleyball, yeah. but not a lot of them end up in the UAP, so exactly. that's obviously a great story. And a lot of them are also not just pure volleyball players, correct? Yeah. Correct? Right. correct? With her, what, what's her story? What's, what's the, the side, other stuff? In the side, she loves to play badminton or mm -hmm. table tennis, but uh, for her, she doesn't want to go to the side. If she wants to play table tennis, she doesn't want to go to the volleyball. Because that was quoting her, yeah. Kailangan sa table tennis mahina ang pulso. Oh, oh. So muscle memory. Naman, okay, yeah, muscle yeah, 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 yeah. Sa volleyball naman, malakas dapat ang uh, spike niya. So, Paano? she can't have it Yeah, yeah, she can't have it both. Yeah. I, I'm actually curious if she also learned table tennis from the streets. Eh. <laughs> oh, but I, I don't think so. <laughs> Ozzy, ba't niya natatawa? Ozzy, let's go back to Adamson. Pisa Genesis, uh, we have to talk about well, she's a Spitfire striker of Adamson, and uh, she has a technical pre-game routine. Very I don't technical. know. I don't know if technical is the right word for it. Can you explain to us? She loves watching Chacho On of Thailand. She's also mm -hmm. part of the national team. So, I mean, uh, Chacho On. Yeah. And uh, she even got the chance to go up against her mm -hmm. in Thailand in the Princess Cup U19. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chacho On Mosques. Mosque. Yes. No, yeah. one, one, one of those uh, <laughs> great uh, Thai national players, I'm sure, during the that initial a Thai Bundit connection when yes. they were brought to Thailand was the time that they, they got to play against her. What is it that we don't know about her though? We we see her, her fierceness on the on the court. We know she's a PVL MVP. She's very capable, but 
What do we don't know about Trisha Genesis? Well, when she's not on the volleyball court, she loves live streaming for the fans to enjoy, just to get to know her better. Mm -hmm. And even her teammates told me that she's one of the funniest members in the team. 